Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 90 of chapter 13. So a 40 kilogram boy is sliding down the smooth spiral slide. So smooth that means that there is no friction forces, such as Z is negative 2. So let's see what Z is representing. Z is the distance the boy travels downward after one round. So if I open up this spiral slide, it will look like an inclined surface. So the distance that it goes down, the Z value is two meter, and R is the same, it's a circular path. So the circumference would be two pi R and would be that, that would be the base of my inclined surface. So I can, draw my coordinate here that would be theta and that z so there would be a, if this is the boy on an inclined surface i have the mass of the boy acting in the negative direction of z also the reaction force or the normal force that the slide is acting on the boy and that would be n if my inclined surface is alpha the angle is alpha uh, this angle would be also alpha because these two lines are perpendicular uh, to the, the other two edges that create the angle alpha this is a 2d representation of the slide but the problem is a 3d problem we will get into free body diagram of uh, the 3D object as well. So let's find alpha here first. Alpha would be tangent inverse of two over two pi r, r here is 1.5. So that would be 11.98 degrees. To fully describe all the forces acting on the boy, we need to draw the free body diagram. We draw the 2D free body diagram to just better understand this inclined surface and, and the angle of the slide. But in a 3D, we are going to use the polar coordinate or better to say cylindrical coordinate because we have Z component as well, because simply the problem is asking for. We could solve this problem using tangential and normal as well. Do you know why? Because R is constant. So R dot, R double dot would, would be zero. But let's stick to what the problem is asking for. I'm gonna draw the free body diagram in, in 3D. I have R. I have Z. And I have theta. have the forces mg is acting on the boy and then I have the reaction force the normal force that's going to be on theta z similar to this inclined surface if you think of the box coming down an inclined surface that would be the normal force it's on a theta z component I'm just gonna write n here and that's alpha the angle that it makes with the z-axis. Also, the edge of the slide is going to act, have a reaction force acting on the boy. And I'm going to call that FR because that's the force in the direction of R. So if you have three forces acting on the boy, so I can write my... Uh, kinetic equations and find for all the unknown forces which are the n values the reaction force the n and fr we can call both n and fr uh, the normal force because that's that's the nature of the force is due to our uh, due to the reaction of the ground or the slide on the boy but let's write our equations first summation of forces 
in R, MAR, summation of forces in theta, MA, theta, summation of forces in Z, MAZ. So in, in R directions, we have the force FR, and that's the only force that we have. So it's simply FR, and it's in negative direction of R, so I need to write negative FR equals MAR, which is R double dot minus R theta dot square. MG is acting in the Z direction and N is in theta Z plane as shown here. So in this three by diagram, in this 2D three by diagram, R is perpendicular to the surface. So N has no component in, in the R direction. We can draw the three by diagram in R Z coordinate as well. We drew it one 2D, we can draw another 2D. Sometimes it's easier to understand. That's Z and that's R. And our forces here would be FR and MG. So drew three free by diagram just for to better understand the problem. In the direction of theta, if I come to this coordinate system in the direction of theta, I have N would be the only force that creates a component in theta, so that would be N sine alpha. M A theta, which is R theta double dot plus two R dot theta dot. And that's N. And in direction of Z, Again, I'm going to come to this free diagram on the top. That's, that's easier to, uh, to see the forces. I have mg and also I have n cosine alpha. That would be the component in z direction. So n cosine alpha would be the positive. I'm going to write it here. n cosine alpha minus mg will give me m a z. Because the radius is constant so I can simplify these equations. I know if R is constant that means that R dot is zero and also R double dot would be zero. So if I simplify the equations I have this would be zero R dot would be zero. So if I want to find my forces FR we had a negative FR so I would be m r theta dot squared n sine alpha would be m r theta double dot and also I have this for z m a z so looking at the equation that I have I don't know the value for theta dot and I don't know the value for theta double dot or AZ to find FR and, and N. The question is asking for these three values. FR, N, sine alpha gives me the component of reaction in theta and N cosine alpha gives me uh, the component in Z. So I need to find the theta dot, theta double dot, and AZ. So let's see what the problem is giving me in terms of other information. The other information that I have is speed is two meter per second. So I need to translate this speed to something I can use. So speed is given in tangential component. It's just the direction that the boy is sliding down. So I'm gonna draw this inclined surface one more time here, not for forces, but just for kinematic. So this is my inclined surface. 
the boys are sliding down. This is Tata. This is Z component. Velocity here is two meter per second. This is alpha. So therefore this component would be alpha. So the velocity is given in the tangential coordinate or the direction that the boy is coming. So in tangential coordinate. So it has two components for in theta and in Z. So I know the velocity in radial components in R dot, which is zero for me. V theta is R theta dot and V Z Z dot. So V theta also based on what I've drawn here would be two meter cosine alpha or V cosine alpha. So setting these two equation equal, I can find R theta dots or theta dot. I have V cosine alpha equals R theta dot. Therefore theta dot would be V cosine alpha over R. Theta dot, I have two. Cosine alpha would be 1198 and would be 1.5 meter. So that would be 1.3 radian per second. So I found theta dot based on the velocity that I had here, two meter per second. I found the component in direction of theta, V theta. And I compare it with the equation that I have for V theta, R theta dot. So that's the theta dot. The other unknowns that I have are the acceleration. So we can do the same thing with acceleration. We have A theta and A Z, as well as this direction A T, the tangential component of acceleration, the act is alpha. So these two, A theta and A Z are related. They're not independent. So A Z over A theta would be tangent alpha. And I know the value for alpha, so I can replace it. So technically I have one unknown, not two unknowns. So if I go back to my equations here, I found the value for theta dot. So I can replace theta dot with 1.3 that I found. So this would be 40, would be the mass, or 1.5, 1 1.3, 1 so 101.4 Newton is FR, simply by finding theta dot. Here I have MR theta double dot. I did not find theta double dot, but I found the relation between this R theta dot and AZ. But this is simply M A theta. And this is M A Z. So I can replace A theta with A Z and I have the other unknown that I have is N. So I have two unknown. N and A Z. Two equation and two unknown I can find N. Which is three hundred and eighty three eighty five Newton. And once I have N, then I can find what the problem is asking for. The components of force, the slight exert on, uh, on the boy. So either we can report it as N or we can decompose N here, call it N cosine alpha, would be in Z direction and sine alpha in theta direction, uh, as well as FR that is acting on the boy.